Hey, what is going on guys? Coming at you with another deck profile for the July 2015 ban list, and today I'll be showing you guys my Trap Monster deck. Uh, so starting off with the monsters, we have the three Great Fevers Commandant, uh, of course, is to uh, search out Necker Valley. And really, when you think about it, if you're wanting to make this deck kind of anti-meta and have a bit of an anti-meta engine, um, I really think that Necker Valley is the best engine, because, uh, of course, there are cards like, you know, Dimensional Fissure and Macro Cosmos that you can play, but uh, with all the continuous traps that you play that clog out your back row, uh, it's nice to have a card like Necker Valley that just goes in the field spell zone and doesn't take up your back row at all, and it is a card that is pretty good right now when you consider all the decks that do re rely on moving cards from the graveyard. Uh, then we have the free calculator. Uh, gains 300 attack times uh, all the combined levels of monsters you control, including itself. Uh, so when you combine this with other trap monsters, uh, this card can just get, get turned into a really big beat stick. Uh, then we have the two card card D for more draw power. And of course, you really don't spell summon on your turn. Um, so card card D is just really good for extra draw power. And then at the round the monsters, we have the two effect veiler for some effect negation to help protect those trap monsters. Uh, then for spells, we of course have the free Necro Valley. Uh, free Paw Duality, since again, we don't really spell summon uh, on our turn with this deck, and it just helps us to get to more cards uh, that we need. Uh, the two Magic Planter uh, will sometimes have trap monsters on the field that are dead, or we'll have an Imperial Custom or a Phoenix Chain that's dead on the field, so Magic Planter is just really good for cleaning up our own back row and gaining us extra cards as well. Uh, then, so, since we are playing Necro Valley, we do have the one roll tribute uh, just to get rid of monsters from our opponent's hand, and that uh, just absolutely uh, stunned their strategies. And then to round out the spells, we have the one Regeki. Uh, then moving on to traps, uh, we have the free Statue of Anguish Pattern. Uh, Spuddle summoned itself as a level 7 monster, and then it can't be targeted by uh, card effects uh, once it's summoned. And uh, each time you summon a trap monster, uh, you can actually destroy one card on the field. Uh, and that is the fact that it is not once per turn, it does stack, and it can even work within the same chain that's summoned as well, depending on how you work it. So Statue of Anguish Patterns is really, really good for being able to pop cards on the field. Uh, then we have the two Abyss Stunray. Uh, Sun itself is a level 5 1900 monster that uh, can't be destroyed by battle. So it's one of the few uh, trap monsters that, that's actually pretty good as a standalone monster. Uh, then we have two of each Tiki, the Tiki Curse and Tiki Soul. Uh, with Curse, basically it turns any other trap monster into a catastrophe to where it just destroys the opponent's monster at the end of the damage step when it battles. And then with Soul, uh, if that monster were to be destroyed by battle, any of our trap monster, it just gets reset. Uh, so it can combo off very well with uh, Statue of Anguish Pattern just to give yourself uh, recurring um, uh, destruction fodder for Pattern's effect. Uh, then we have the two Zone of the Spirit. Uh, Sum the self in defense position as a 1800 beater with 500 defense. And then if it is destroyed by battle, um, it inflicts damage to your opponent equal to the attack of that monster. Uh, so it's just really good for uh, burning your opponent and possibly even gaming them as well, depending on how big their monsters are on the board. Uh, then we have the one Cyber Shadow Garden now. Uh, this you can only activate during your opponent's main phase. Um, basically, if it were to be attacked, it copies the attack and defense of that opposing monster. And then... Um, during the end phase, it just resets itself, so similar to Tiki Soul, it just gives yourself a uh, recurring um, popping power with uh, Statue of Anguish Pattern. Uh, then we have the one Metal Reflex Slime, just there as kind of a 3,000 wall. Uh, the Triple Imperial Custom to, of course, protect all of our trap monsters from being destroyed. Uh, that is both by battle and card effect. Uh, and the reason we play three is just to, to make sure that we see it, and we can also get rid of it if we have multiples uh, with uh, Magic Planter. Uh, then we have the two Phoenix Chain, because it's another continuous trap that uh, can be protected by custom and just really good for negating effects and stopping attacks as well. Uh, then round out the main deck, we have the one Solemn Morning and one Torrential Tribute. Uh, now onto the side deck, we have the two Banisher to Radiance. Uh, it's a little bit better than, say, playing Dimensional Fissure or Macrocosmos because it doesn't commit anything to your back row. And it can actually be pretty strong as a 1600 monster on its own. Um, that's something that not a lot of decks uh, have just a normal summonable answer for. Um, with being 1600 and being a macrocosmos, that's why Banisher is good. Uh, then we have the two Fire Hand and two Ice Hand. Uh, good against those uh, back row or floodgate heavy decks, and also gives you an answer to Denko Seca as well. Uh, so just really, really good uh, for deck finning, stalling purposes, rank 4 spam, uh, destruction, everything you basically need. Uh, then we have the one Thunder King Ryo. Again, it's just another anti meta monster that's just basically a mistake on legs. Uh, the triple MST, because if you don't have MST in the main, you need, you need to have free in your side. Uh, the triple Imperial Iron Wall, and then the two Mask of Restrict. Uh, this, of course, is for uh, mostly the uh, Spiritual Beast matchup, uh, because Necro Valley pretty much takes care of the Necroz matchup, uh, but Necro Valley doesn't really do much to them compared to uh, Iron Wall. And the Mask of Restrict is there mostly for the Cleefort matchup. Uh, now to round out with the extra deck, uh, we have for rank 4's Abyss Dweller. 
Uh, Karen Gorgon, which is really good because it can redirect uh, things that would target your trap monsters. Castell, Dark Rebellion, Diamond Dire Wolf uh, can get rid of a dead trap monster on board along with an opponent's card as well. Um, Exiton Knight, Cowboy, uh, Sound Honor Arc, Ragnar Zero, uh, Diamond Crab King, uh, and then number 66, Master Key Beetle. Um, you do have uh, Zoom of the Spirit and uh, Tiki Curse that are actually uh, level 4 darks, uh, so you do have the ability to go into Master Key Beetle. Uh, then we have the combo of Ptolemaeus and Diamond. Uh, then the round of the extra deck, we have um, Draco Sack and Big Eye, since our Statue of Anguish pattern is level 7. Uh, so that is it for the Trap Monster deck profile. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.